Hello again, everybody. It's like Tech is here with my with the first Wall Super Show review for the year on one two twelve. Kind of a mixed bag tonight on Wall. Supposed to be a huge one tonight. The expected return goes yes, it was Y two J, but kind of a minor disappointment comeback. Probably one of the worst returns I've seen in a long time. I'll get to him plus the main event. And all of that, plus a certain school job. I knew this was going to happen with the WWE title match tonight. I'll get to all of that in a moment. Mail moment. Talk about, well, starting off with John Cena. Blah, 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 man. About his New Year's resolutions. Especially one to get his hands on Kane. Kane made a statement. Presence felt. As Kane released a statement, of course, the fire exploded. And Kane spoke to Cena said, Cena, you want really no hate? Hate will expose tonight. It's like saying like something bad will happen tonight, basically, that's what Kane said. And later on in the evening we found out that Zack Ryder would team up with John Cena and Jack on a big show to team up against Kane, Big uh, Mark Henry and Jack Swagger in a six man elimination match, which would be one of our main events of the evening. So we later on in the evening, that match was made later on by John Lauren Linus, who had a big hand in the WWE title match, which I'll get to in a moment. So after Cena made his blah blah and Kane made his statement, it was time for a champion versus champion match, as the Intercontinental Champion, Cody Rhodes, who will be defending the title on SmackDown against Booker T, who took on Daniel Bryan, who's defending against Big Show on Friday. Title Frenzy, WWE title match tonight on War, and I see in War title match on SmackDown this week. So we had IC Champion World Champion match, of course not a title for any title, and I thought the match was pretty damn good. It was like, okay, way to start the match, start the night with Daniel Bryan getting the victory over Cody Rhodes. It wasn't a, uh, I think it wasn't was a submission. It was like a slam or something. But Cody Rhodes tried his best, even had his beautiful disaster kick. Beautiful disaster kick, but, but of course... It was Daniel Bryan who got the victory. But yeah, you have to according to this kicks. Daniel Bryan got a roll up. One, two, three, victory for Daniel Bryan. Showing a statement, of course, showing everybody that he is the true champion, ending the, his match against Big Show this Friday on SmackDown. After that little match, we went on to our second match involving Wade Barrett. Fresh off a win, well, no contest over Randy Orton, because Randy Orton is injured, will be out for a certain amount of time. I'm hearing six months. I heard he may come back sooner than later. So our Ray Bear returns for Orton. He eats guys like Santino for lunch, as he ate up the Cobra in a one-minute squash. Basically, uh, Santino tried some moves, but then Barrett got the winds of change move. One, two, three. Basically, a one-minute squash match. Nothing much to say about the match with Santino and Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett's on a wall, and Wade Barrett named himself as one of the very first participants participants in the war at Rumble. So we know Wade will be in it. Hopefully Wade will do better than he did last year in the Rumble. Of course, he was part of the core. Of course, he didn't do well in the Rumble last year. Hopefully he'll do better this year. As his own man. Then we had Sheamus vs. The Mix. Miz the match was made to him by John Laurinaitis backstage. Of course, Miz still freaking out after what happened last week with all truth coming out and attacking him, doing his scheduled match with John Cena. As we all know, Miz challenged Cena last week. Miz went out, got himself counted out, but then all truth returned. Tonight, everywhere Miz went, all truth was just a little behind him. Like he saw all truth saying crack, crack, crack is. Miz is like, I'm not a sitting duck. Better than a lame duck. That's what Lone Niners said. Not funny. That's what Lone Niners is. Not funny. Because he's stupid. <laughs> anyway. Miz came out for his match against Sheamus. Another no contest. This match didn't even start. Basically, Miz beat the crap out of Sheamus right away with a little DDT on the ropes. Taking him way before the bell. Venging, aven venging against Sheamus for his little vengeance over all truth. So basically, beat the crap out of Sheamus. And Sheamus uh, had some moves on Shame, uh, Miz, tying him up against the ropes, doing his little chops. 
Miz tried to run out through the crowd, but to meet him in the crowd, it was all truth waiting in the wings. The all truth once again beat the crap out of Miz with another water bottle attack to end that little segment with him and Miz. So we can tell all truth and Miz are heading towards a collision, whether it's at the Wumble in a match or in the Wumble match itself. Miz and Truth, the feud is just getting started, and we'll see more of that feud development probably in the next couple weeks. Now on to our son of order, a first hour main event, kind of. It was for the WWE Championship. It was CM Punk defending the championship. I have a shirt on, ask me ball shirt. Defending the title against Dolph Ziggler. Of course, we you know Ziggler defeated Punk in a gauntlet match last week, which gave him a title shot. Thanks to Lord Ass making the ruling that anyone who would pick Punk would get a title shot tonight on this wall. So, match was pretty good up until like the last minute or so of the match. Ziggler performed very well. He had the advantage. He had some good moves. But I like this little block. Like, CM Punk was going to do like a little splash through the middle rope. Onto the floor on the Ziggler. Ziggler kind of like, like a punch interference. So that was kind of a good block. I thought Ziggler performed okay in this main event match. He did it very well. But here's how it ended go. CM Punk waves Ziggler against one of the ring posts. The ring post covering off. So CM Punk went to the other ring post. I was ripped Ziggler. It went for his famous knee. Kick and a bulldog. He was about to put Ziggler to sleep. However, Lauren Linus, once again, for the second straight win in the world, came out when he should have did. As we all know, last week, Lauren Linus came out during the Ziggler Punk match in the gauntlet to kick out Vicky Guerrero. But it was more of a distraction than anything of himself, as Punk got a zigzag, one, two, three, that's how Ziggler got the shot tonight. Lauren Linus came up to the referee trying to put the rope, ring rope turnbuckle back where it belongs. While he was talking with the referee, the referee was distracted. And Punk nailed Ziggler, Adam, and the Anaconda Vice. And I should have known this was going to happen. Ziggler was tapping, but the referee did not see it. So Punk tried to get John Laurinaitis' attention. And he kind of rammed Ziggler into Laurinaitis. Laurinaitis got back up. And Sam Punk was ready to nail the GTS. However, Ziggler nailed Punk rammed him against Laurinaitis, who pulled the rope down, making Punk fall onto the floor, getting Punk counted out, which means Dolph Ziggler wins the match by count out. That means Punk's still the champion. And I said I made a tagline earlier today that I predicted fully, and I was right, that this match, something fishy was going to happen with maybe a count out or the score vacation or something fishy like a screwy ending. To, to make a Punk Ziggler rematch at the Royal Rumble happen. Yes, it is official. CM Punk, Dolph Ziggler, the rematch will take place at the Rumble with John Laurinaitis as your special guest referee. I smell school job. Especially with all the rumors I've been hearing about CM Punk losing the championship because of diminishing ratings. We'll see if Laurinaitis will screw Punk or not at the Rumble for the championship as he is a special guest referee. And for a second week in a row, Lauren Linus interferes in Punk's match, making him lose to Dolph Ziggler two times in a row by a pinfall and by, the score and by a count out. We'll see what happens at the Wumbo with Punk and Ziggler. That the wall was going well at that time. I was like, yay, no Divas match. Spoke too soon. We had a Divas tag match, Bella Twins versus Eva Kelly Kelly. Is it just me or is this getting boring? The same Divas wrestling each other. Well, until Karma, a.k.a. Awesome Cards, would turn, this is what we're going to see. Another silly match. And to many people, everyone saw once and for all why the Gail Kim versus Mickey James match in Impact this past Thursday was way better. So, there you go. Even Kelly wins. No, they didn't. Bella Trins won with a little trim magic, not much to say. And then, the moment finally arrived after weeks and weeks. We found out the mystery man. Throughout the evening, we saw scattered 1, 2, 12 promo commercials. But now it finally came. The big moment had arrived. Yes, it was him. Y2J! Chris Jericho! Yes, it was him. Came out to a big ovation. That was it. 
basically. <laughs> but in my opinion, the worst comeback ever. He just came out, doing his usual Jericho poses. The crowd was cheering. I think they cheered a lot louder for him than when he came back in 07. Took all the cheers. He was like, come on, baby, come on. He was playing with the crowd a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah, going to each side, making them all cheerful. And that was it. He had the mic in his hand. He was ready to talk. And he just got so cut up in the excitement. He just played with the crowd a little bit. Then left. Said nothing. Are you serious, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is like one of the worst comebacks ever. I'm sorry, man. You hyped this up for weeks and weeks and weeks. This big return, which everyone kind of knew it was Jericho. He had Jericho come out, big ovation. Yet, he didn't talk. All he did was just come out, just play with the fans. Are you serious, bro? Come on, stupid. I hope to do something with him next week. You know, I hope he does talk or does something. I did hear some booze when he went to the back. So who knows? Is seeing a Jericho heel or a face? He was playing like a face. Maybe he just did that just to get it over with so he can really turn heel next week. Who knows what will happen with Jericho next week. But in my opinion, kind of a mild, disappointing comeback. Kind of hyped it up and it was kind of like disappointing. The ones of my favorite, one of my favorite rap groups, Public Enemy, like Flavor Flavor always says, don't believe the hype. His last comeback was Ray Battle. When he came back in 07, it was like one of the Survivor Series when he interrupted Randy Orton. That was a better comeback. This one was just plain silly. He just came out, played with the fans, like, ah, make him cheer for me, come on! That's it. Nothing much to say. Stupid. Hopefully next week he does something. But, in my mind, kind of a disappointment for Jericho's comeback tonight. Maybe he just knew everyone knew it was him, so he was like, okay, let's just give him the fans what they want. And just come, that's it. Because everyone knows it's me. You may have to just come out, and that's it, basically. That's what happened. He came out and said nothing. But while we wait for Jericho to speak next week, it was time for a main event. John Cena teaming up with Zack Ryder and the Big Show in a well, it was supposed to be a six-man elimination tag. Ended up being a three-on-two handicap elimination match between Mark Henry and Jack Swagger as Kane did not show up. They played Kane's music, but Kane didn't show up for the match. I knew somehow, somewhere, Kane would make his presence felt. And boy, did he at the end of the match. I'll get to that in a moment. The six-man tag was kind of a mild disappointment as well. With Kane not coming, I was basically like a Kind of a mini squash match. Start out with Swagger and Cena being the crap out of each other. And Swagger getting the advantage. And the Big Show came out the tag and he kind of beat up Mark Henry for a little bit. Both of them were counted out or disqualified. Because Big Show used a steel chair. But referee counted them out. So, it basically disqualification, count out, same thing. Both Big Show and Mark Henry were all eliminated. Bad news for Swagger. He was left against Cena and Ryder since Kane didn't show up. So Zack Ryder did his moves on Swaggy. Woo woo woo, you know it. Did his little boot. About to do the Rough Ryder. But then Swagger had him in the ankle lock for a long time. And Ryder got enough extension to tag in Cena to finish the job. Five moves of Doom, Five Knuckle Shuffle. And of course the FU. I will never call it the Attitude Adjustment. One, two, three. Cena and Wido get the victory in kind of a lackluster main event. But then Kane came out through the ring. Yes, Kane came out through the ring. Cena was meeting with the ramp. Basically beat the crap out of Zack Ryder. Feeding him to the wolves. But then Cena came to the Broski's rescue by beating up Kane. But Kane got the last word again. Chunking out Cena like he did two weeks ago with that black glove. Like this, like, you know, like he did two weeks ago, choking out Cena. So instead of beating up Cena some more, to the fans' applause, to everyone's dismay, he went in the ring, trying to, like, he was like, okay, I beat up Cena, now let's beat up the Broski. Are you serious, bro? He was ready to drag Zack Wilder to hell. Basically, underneath the ring, he was ready to drag Zack Wilder under the ring. Cena recovered in time to save Zack Wilder. For being pulled into the abyss. Kane went back out. Underneath the ring. The hole he came up. Exploded with fire. That's how we'll end. We've seen his face full of fear. 
You know, let's see that Kane be this like the development's kinda weird right now. You know, you see Kane like one week, see Kane beat up Cena. The next week you see Kane choking Cena out. Last week they only talked to end wall. And this week Kane choked out Cena again. And then about to pull Zack Ryder down to hell until Cena saved him. So we'll see if Kane and Cena's feud will develop a little bit more next week. So wall tonight, kind of a mixed bag. It was okay, Wall. It's supposed to be like a big water night for one, two, crowd, kind of a minor disappointment. Especially the biggest disappointment being Jericho's comeback being poorly executed. You know what I mean? I've seen better comebacks. You know I mean when you come back, it's supposed to be big. But this comeback tonight, Jericho's comeback was poorly done. It was like he just came out and did nothing. So it was kinda of like kind of a disappointment. You know, he hyped it up and it ended up being like that. So but I'm gonna see Jericho go back. We'll see what happens next week. Next couple weeks to come with Jericho, but this comeback tonight, he better redeem himself next week after that terrible comeback. So that's it for my Wall Super Show review. Comment below. What do you guys think about Jericho's return? Are you disappointed as much as I am about Jericho's comeback? Do you think he'll do well? Are you also upset about how Cena and Kane's feuds developing? Comment your thoughts below. And like this video. Subscribe to my channel. With that in mind. You've been attacked by the review of Zach. Thank you very much. I'll see everybody later. And good night. See y'all later. Oh yeah.